We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normal, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie, this is Ebers. Welcome to Fridge Cam. Now apparently there are more things on the internet for us to buy and review. Here are some. You know how this works. We come across all sorts of little gadgets for the kitchen. Some are genius, some are superfluous, some are very, very niche. We put them under a cloche and we get our normal, Jamie, and our chef, James, to pass opinion on them. I think we've got a game changer in amongst this batch. It's not this one. Lift the cloche. <laughs> Whoa! This comes with a caveat. It's full. Be careful if you lift it. This isn't the game changer. All right, you've said twist the top. I think you're holding the bit that stops it. You ready? What you gonna get? What you gonna get? Mozzarella! <laughs> <laughs> this is the candy box. Sweetheart, carefree experience. Not only am I beautiful, but I can also hold many things. Not only am I beautiful, but I can also hold many things. <laughs> They also say it would be great if you want it, Mike, at a wedding for like a chocolate fountain. I respect my guests too much. <laughs> it does do what it says it does. It doesn't mix them up, you see, it keeps them separate. Oh, well in that case, yeah. sign them up. That's well, good, because you wouldn't want your marshmallows mixed up with your olives, would you? All I can smell is olives and pickled onions. Seriously, when are you using this? I, I mean, we all know that I'm not using this. Don't be silly. But you like it. Okay, so maybe it's for like a, an 11, 10, 11 year old who wants to, well, firstly, I mean, they're gonna have a sugar high. Yeah, and they're gonna have an argument and then I'm gonna have to phone their mum to come and pick them up. I'd rather say this is for compartmentalizing toys and jewelry, jewelry. but not, this is kitchen gadgets. Jamie, how much would you pay for a candy box? I wouldn't. I expect to pay about 20 pounds. Oh. I mean, I've done a lot of these gadget videos now, I know. and that is why I expect to pay. I expect to pay more than £20, but I thought I'd put a reasonable price on it. It's eleven ninety-nine. Is it? Wow. Wow, I can get almost two. Mike, you're right, you did find a game changer. You're not being sincere. Take that home and put it in your kitchen. I'm not sure I'm more bothered about your reactions or the fact that this was targeted at me on my Instagram feed. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought one. <laughs> Useless or not? Yes. 100% completely and utterly useless. It's definitely not useless, is it? It does exactly what it says it wants to do. Lift the cloche. Oh. It's, um, it's chopsticks for beginners. Chopsticks, but beginners chopsticks. Is it really? And I feel like you're not a beginner anymore. After not, our trip to I'm Japan, you can nail anything with a pair of chopsticks. What? Struggling to learn how to use chopsticks? Would you like one day to be able to eat with them as easily as you do with a knife and fork? Try Rookie Sticks from Typhoon. I just fell into Ben's trap. You're not supposed to eat sushi with chopsticks. Thing is, we've been to Japan and now I don't need Rookie Sticks because we became experts. And I remember a time at three o'clock in the morning in some random bar trying to pick up individual grains of rice with chopsticks yeah. just to show how good we were. And therefore, much like the last product, this may not be aimed at you, but let's discuss it anyway. You can pick up a solitary nut. I can. You can do that with a fork, could you? There's not a lot to say about these. They work, don't they? They, they work and they take the balancing bit of chopsticks out of chopsticks, which I imagine is quite good for kids who don't necessarily know how to use chopsticks yet, but might want to eat like their parents. This is why it's good to have a normal and it's good to have a dad. It's not teaching you how to use chopsticks. I mean, honestly, if you want to learn how to use chopsticks, use chopsticks. Do they pick them up as quickly as me? Probably yes. Now, as with everything, there could be a caveat here for someone with motor skills, difficulties, or some sort of medical condition, because they are super easy. This is one product that I can genuinely say, out of many products that we've done, that it's easier than the original. How much would you pay for a pair of rookie sticks? Four pounds. If these are more than three pounds and 79 pence, I would be quite offended. 
at one pound fifty nine pence. I'll have two, please. They are a bargain. Useless or not? Oh, in unison. Um, no, not useless. Not useless. Okay, James, you ready for a game changer? Is this the game changer? You shouldn't tell me the game changer. Oh, before damn. The game changer. Yeah, but you gave it away. It's not the game changer. <laughs> Is it something you get given at a doctor's surgery and asked to go to the toilet and then come back with it full? I hope not, it's got holes in it. I was gonna say a wine aerator, but I don't think it is. Does it go in the top of a pie to let the steam out? Pie. <laughs> it is plastic and cheap and... Egg? Egg. It's something to screw into a fruit and then you pour the juice out. Oh, it's a lemon juicer. The lemon juicer and pourer lets you pour out juice in perfect portions. Simply pour the juicer into the fruit, squeeze the fruit you might want the lid shut, and pour at will. It's a clean job, also suitable for limes and oranges. Screw the pourer into a lemon or lime and the juice flows out. The ideal tool for professional bartenders and it also keeps the pips and pith inside. Do you expect this to work? No, don't be silly. Wait, is that it? Just pour. I think that's pretty good. Bring back gadge one. No. It makes so much mess. Look at me. This is the game changer you were talking about, isn't it? How at home do you squeeze the juice out of a lemon? Well, that's a very personal question. Um, <laughs> squeeze it using my fingers and my thumb. Bold, I mean, I could have done this over the glass, sure. Uh, but we're here now. How much would you pay for one of those? <laughs> they come as a pair if that helps you. Oh, so you could put one in a lemon and one in a lime? Absolutely. Yep. Or two in a pear. 50p. 50p? And would you pay 50p for one of those? No. I mean, I wouldn't pay 50p no. for them. I think they might sell for 50 pence for a pair. £3.59 for oh. two? For two? Useless or not, Jay? Um, I think you probably know what my answer's gonna be. I don't like it. It's useless. Throw it away, it's useless. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying in comparison to the first one, it's something more. I'm sorry, what was wrong with the first one? Everything about it. Nothing was wrong with that. Pointless purchase, it does nothing. Wow. The bit that you use is at the bottom. Same as the last one, but for a big lemon. <laughs> <laughs> if you get this, I will kiss you on the mouth. All right, I'm going to try really hard now just to make you lot jealous. Um, <laughs> potato masher. This is a scoof. Dog poop. This is for your cafetiere. That moment when you've poured all your coffee and you're left with the grounds in the bottom that should not go down the sink, and that's a big problem because they tend to clog. Instead, you have to somehow get them into the bin. This is Scoof designed to scoop out 95% of your grounds in three turns, and the added benefit is it will twist your grounds into the water to give you a more intense coffee flavor from fewer grounds in less time. Guys, this is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it's a problem that I realize I might have. We haven't weighed out the water or the coffee. And then a squizzle or two of that, so one or two slow compressions with your scoof. After three minutes? No, now, what's in case some of it hasn't bloomed. No, you're supposed to leave it and then you do it afterwards. You do it your way if you want, but I'm just suggesting how the product has suggested to use it so They're we wrong. can test it. Have they been on a barista course? Oh! We've had a lovely evening. Do you want to come in for a scoof? <laughs> Instantly, I found an issue. Um, because I've, I've done the plunge gently, I've got coffee scum on the top of my scoof. Oh, I have a dirty scoof on the worktop. Right, okay, leave it there. Do you like a coffee? Oh, I'd love a coffee, actually. Do you know what a better way of doing this is? What? leaving it and then the coffee grinds dry <laughs> and as soon as you tip it out the whole thing comes out like pellet. literally that's what happens it comes out as a pellet there are some on the work surface 
and I, I could have moved the bowl closer, but the, still, it was over the top of the lip. Just not a problem. Like, it's not a problem. How much you pay for a scoof? Irrelevant question. How much do I think they sell for? More relevant question. Um, this, to me, has 4 pounds written all over it. £2.99. Really? You went with £20 for the first one. Which was worth £20. This one is worth £2.99. Twin blades, dual action. Twin blades? <laughs> it's not a aeroplane motor, is it? <laughs> Probably £10. It's £9.95. I know what you're going to ask me, and I'm going to give you the answer before you get the chance to ask me. It is useless. Use a spoon, a wooden spoon, a metal spoon, a plastic spoon. Useless. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> He's back James in the game. He's back. Bring on the game changer. That's new. Ta-da! Okay, it's a water bottle. Is it a water bottle? Oh, it feels premium. Air up. Mm. Oh! Tastes like peach. Water, but with lime in it. It's something that flavours normal water. Pretty much exactly that, but what if we also told you the only thing you're consuming is pure water? This is Air Up. It comes with aroma or fragrance rings that you put over a bottle of reusable tap water. All you ever consume is water. No sugar, no calories. Something that we speak about a lot is that flavour is made up of 20% taste and 80% aroma. Oh, I see. Clever. So that there is purely peach aroma. It's not putting the water through anything. It's literally just aroma. But, I, but I'm not breathing in. Aroma isn't just through your nose. It's actually through areas of your mouth as well that aren't necessarily like taste buddy. So this is a German-based company and what they're trying to do is combat the flavoured water market, which is causing tons and tons and tons of plastic bottled water being shipped around the country. Plus, you get all of the flavour and aromas of various different things without the sugars and the calories. So it's healthy and more nutritious, and it's also more environmentally friendly in terms of transportation, because all you transport is the eight gram ring of flavour. You can take the peach off and you can try yes. one of these other ones if you like and see if it changes. Why would you go to all of the effort of creating the science that sits behind this and creating these things and then make the flavours of peach, orange and lime? Why wouldn't you make steak? Imagine that, like, oh, what well, you got water? Steak water. Pie water. Like, <laughs> <laughs> They have actually put a call to action on their website to say that essentially, Anything that can be put into an aroma, your water could taste like. That's some proper Willy Wonka shit. So all they need to do for Mike is a beer flavoured one. Espresso martini one actually. Imagine if you were drinking espresso martinis but it was just water. It's a cool idea, I like it. There's no reason why you can't put carbonated water in your bottle as well and it will do the same thing. So if you are hooked to sodas and things like that and you like fruit sodas or fruit flavoured waters, um, and good to refill. You could cut down on obesity by creating certain flavours of pie flavoured ones of these. That's your R&D. Who wants to slurp pie? How much do you think that costs? The starter box is the bottle with five of those reels, which gives you 25 litres of flavoured water. 30 pounds. 25 pounds. I'm not sure the current exchange rate, that sounds about right, 29.99 euros. I spend probably 20 pounds a month on Diet Coke. So that puts that into perspective. Like it's, it's a really nice idea and it's nice to think of someone doing that, but I think 90% of people will just go and buy some water. Even if this particular product doesn't take off, I really hope the innovation behind it sparks something yeah. because I think on a wide, like you said, consumer basis that you can go to the shop and get something instant, I think that is a proper game changer for The game changer health. is when, when you have one of these, but it's like a little, band of plastic or something. That you screw on top of a water bottle. You don't even screw it on top of the water bottle, like the water bottle comes with it. Useless or not? Not useless. It, is it useful? I agree, I think that's a massive advancement. I think that's a really big thing. I wonder how many people are gonna pay for that benefit.
If you like the video, give it a like, and just in case you're worried that Mike's reserves of gadgets are running low, why not send us any funny gadgets that you find on the internet? And by send, we mean in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Now we know at this time of year, lots of new changes, lots of decisions to make. If some of them are food related, then we think we might be able to help. Why not become a member of the club and then you can download the Sorted Packs app. Midweek meals, easy. Yeah, maybe you've made a New Year's resolution to get a little bit smarter in the kitchen. Well, we can help you with that. PAX is full of midweek meals that will help you reduce food wastage, inspire you with brand new recipe ideas, and essentially, sort your life out. Not all of it, but most of it. No pressure, Jay, but first dad joke of the year. <sighs> Have you heard that the famous American burger chain, in and out is going to expand to Scotland? They're gonna have to call it in an oot. What? <laughs> what? Is that a joke? <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> well, we'll take two on that one then. <clears throat> what type of food is good for your feet? Uh, no idea, Jay. What type of food is good for your feet? Sushi. Oh, I thought you'd say shoe pastry. That would have been or like soul food. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. That's how I use them. Uh, I put them against that. the blues so the camera can pick you it up. You tweet that, and I'm going to smash your glasses. <laughs>